Good evening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Talking Point. My name is Faraz Patel. We are coming to you live from Hilal TV, channel 347 on DSTV. Jazakallah so much for joining us. I'll be in your company for the next 50, 50 to 55 minutes. This past weekend, you might have seen it right here on Hilal TV. It was the M's football tournament that happened at Mark's Park. We had five different winners in five different age categories. But, you know, the essence of the tournament was to create a sense of unity, to create a sense of togetherness, and most importantly, for the kids to have fun and, for, of course, the elders to go ahead and see people they haven't seen, obviously due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In a while, we are going to be crossing over to Alphala College they, of course, won two age categories of the tournament. But with me in studio, I have Brother Bilal and Brother Siddiq. They're part of the local organizing committees. Brothers, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaykum wa yourself, uh, Brother Bilal. I, I see the stress has gone away, Brother Bilal. <laughs> I know you told me, obviously, leading up, it was going to be... You, you, you were confident, but obviously when arranging big tournaments, there's always a sense of always. slight concern. Alhamdulillah, how did it go? <laughs> Impeccably brilliant. Yes. I can't say anything mm. more than that. Everything went according to plan, Alhamdulillah. We set up the grounds. We did what we needed to do. We ran the fixtures. We ran the games. You know, 25 schools, 85 teams, 850 kids, 150 extras with the coaches and the managers and all of that. So, yeah, all that build-up and all that stress. Relief now that it's over, but body's taking a toll. Brother Siddiq, are you feeling the same? Like uh, Brother Bilal, but I just want to add to just how well organized it was. Obviously, Hilal was there to, to capture some of those winning moments. But uh, just from an organization point of view, it must make you proud, doesn't it? Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Uh, look, uh, Allah was too kind to us. The tournament was a huge success. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's, it's the ecosystem that makes it a success. It, we have a local organizing committee. That and yeah, you can do that. That's a local organizing committee, you know, that's, that's great in terms of the capability and skill. Then we've got the Apex community. We've got the learners. We've got the parents. So, you know, it's a very integrated effort. Uh, so, uh, really, we had a good tournament, Shukar. No, alhamdulillah. We will be crossing over to Al Falah College. I think that uh, issues, uh, load sharing is also in Asia, yeah. but uh, this is what we have to deal with at this time. Brother Bilal, um, three years without this competition happening. We, of course, have uh, you know the COVID 19 pandemic that stopped everything from happening. Just how happy were you to finally see all of this coming together? And the weather was, mashallah. Beautiful, wasn't yeah. it? Ecstatic, actually, to be honest with you. To see the excitement in the kids' faces, their eyes, the way they were speaking, the excitement about how they're going to play this game, how they're going to play the beautiful game. Mm -hmm. You know, and that was the most important thing for me and my LOC that, that um, was incredible, really incredible. And the footage we got on the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and exposing these little minds and these little kids on TV was absolutely something that for me was a coup through Hilal TV and we want to make definitely do this again with Hilal TV there's no doubt about it inshallah, um, inshallah. And, I mean I saw a lot of uh, you know personalities one of them of course being former Leeds United uh, uh, captain Lucas Ratebe I mean he came through I mean that was a huge how do I put it this way vote of confidence from a a great Bafana Bafana player that he came. Yes. He was able to enjoy it. I mean, that's massive, wasn't it, uh, Brother Siddiq? Definitely. I think Lucas is always passionate about development. Mm -hmm. And the age groups that we had, you take under 9, 11, 13, you know, just this resides in terms of what he feels that he can promote as well. So he felt there's an association in terms of how can he connect with this tournament and also profile the tournament, you know, in terms of uh, development, in terms of football. No, Alhamdulillah. He couldn't mm. believe, mm. actually, after having a discussion with him, that we were only 13 guys that put this whole tournament yeah. together. He just, he was completely astounded that it was just the LOC that put this whole thing together. From the fixtures, from the rules, from everything, from setting up the grounds, the marking of the mm. grounds, all of those nice things. He just couldn't believe it. No, Alhamdulillah. And uh, Brother Siddiq, I mean, as uh, Bilal is saying, 13 people, 
I mean, the fact that 13 hands would go ahead and contribute towards this, I mean, it just tells that, I mean, mind power and all of that come together, you can make a successful tournament. Yeah, look, uh, uh, organizing a tournament of this magnitude, I mean, Bilal shared with you, mm -hmm. plus 80 teams, you know, you're looking at 480 games, you look at referees, you know, 12 referees, games running simultaneously from 9 o'clock to 8 o'clock the evening. So, you know, the attention, concentration, focus from referees and the infrastructure needs, you know, you're hosting over 3,000, 4,000 people. So it's not easy. I think uh, what's great is the bond in the LOC. You know, there's a lot of trust and tolerance mm. and self-esteem, which is good. Obviously, it's supported by underlying communities, which are just amazing. The they, they, they ability to give back is great. We had coordinators that were adults. We had learners that were, um, you know, on field. And, and giving back, I mean, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday was scorching. Mm -hmm. And they were yeah. just giving time and, you know, making sure that everything, uh, the patriotism that we've seen from the community, uh, you know, putting this tournament together has just been phenomenal. And I think we have al -Fala. Uh They have joined us now. Assalamu alaikum to uh, the brothers at al -Fala. Jazakallah so much for joining us. Okay, guys, just tell me, how does it feel to win two categories, under-13s, under-15s? I mean, you guys shone at the tournament, didn't you? Alhamdulillah, uh, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Zafar, I'm the principal of this uh, proud squad behind me and with me in the room today. Uh, first of all, we'd like to acknowledge the LOC and the team there that put on a wonderful uh, planning for this tournament and to host all of the schools. We're very honored and privileged to have been part of it. Uh, and uh, we're just pleased that uh, our boys not only came back with trophies, but hopefully stole the hearts of people there as well, because uh, our message to them was to play the game with passion, uh, to win with humility, and to lose with dignity. And mashallah, they did us proud uh, in the terms of how they conducted themselves, how they flew the flag for my wonderful school and the wonderful ambassadors for us. And we obviously thrilled that they came back uh, with a number of trophies as well. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I'm going to actually ask uh, one of the coaches a question. Uh, a coach, I mean, just to have two H categories winning the tournament, basically, Alphala dominated this tournament. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, we were very fortunate. I mean, uh, lots of planning went into uh, the culmination of coaches being together uh, every week, weekend, trying to put this together to make sure that we come up prepared uh, in a national tournament. And we were very fortunate. We had our under nines come into a semi final, our under 11s were in a semi final, and our under 13s and 15s managed to win the tournament. So, yes, we're very, very proud. Alhamdulillah. No, Alhamdulillah. I actually want to ask one of the captains of, of the teams, just, you know, his take on leadership and how important is it for him to go ahead and inspire his team? I mean, you know, when you're entering a tournament, of course, you know, there's a lot of pressure and you had cameras, of course, courtesy of Hilal TV. So I just want to get an idea from one of the captains, you know, how did they feel, you know, inspiring their team to a victory? Well, uh, Alhamdulillah. Uh, it was a very uh, you know, exhilarating feeling. The boys got together. Um, the weeks, months of planning, they went into training uh, to you know actually perform in the tournament. For that, uh, and the fact that we uh, you know all our efforts uh, with Allah blessing us, Alhamdulillah, we won the tournament. It actually paid off for us, and uh, that made us feel uh, you know very uh, ex uh, exhilarated, excited. That, you know, alhamdulillah, all of our efforts paid off. And uh, the boys here, they are very excited here, you know, to be on the talk show with you guys. Uh, so, jazakallah for hosting us. No, lovely. It's an absolute <laughs> pleasure. Now, we're going to see you guys next year. And are you confident that you can retain your trophy next year? Definitely. Inshallah. 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 We, we're very privileged and blessed to have a fantastic support team. Our coaches, the assistant coaches, the involvement of parents, the amount of time they put in uh, on any day of the week. Maghrib and Isha is performed on the ground while the boys and coaches are training. And Hamla is the effort that they put in 
that culminates uh, in all of this. And so we'd also like to acknowledge the support uh, of the coaches. Many of them are parents themselves, as well as professional coaches and managers of the team uh, who support this whole initiative. And I think it's the convergence of all of these efforts together uh, that allow us to actually experience uh, this victory, alhamdulillah. No, alhamdulillah. Well, that's Al-Fala College. We wish you all the best in preparations for next year's uh, tournament, inshallah. And I mean, what's lovely is that you perform salah, you don't forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you, you know, you perform ibadat, and I mean, that can ultimately <coughs> lead to eventual success. Well, after the break, we'll be having another school from Durban, and I'm still going to be joined by brothers Bilal and Siddiq. So stay tuned to Talking Points, and we'll be back. Welcome back to Talking Point. Uh, this is a special uh, episode. Uh, it's, of course, we are reviewing the AMS football tournament that took place this weekend. Now, joining us on Zoom is Hartley Road Primary. And, of course, they were one of the top performers also from the under-9 section in the tournament. Hartley Road, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Well done, guys. Mubarak, congratulations. I'm going to start off with the principal. Just how proud of you are you for these boys to go ahead and achieve what they did this past weekend? Assalamu alaikum. Um, the principal is an in. Okay. I'm Harun, one of the senior coaches of Hartley. We all are very proud of our boys. They did ex they excel in the tournament. We had three divisions under nine and 11 and under 13s, and alham alhamdulillah, our under nines took the tournament. No, alhamdulillah. I, I just saw that uh, the banner there, Hartley, Sabula, Huha. Uh, just maybe give us an idea of, is it like a club motto? Is it to inspire the team? Just give us a background on that, uh, on that uh, quote over there. Yes, that's been our Hartley national anthem from 2016. Our voice has been winning the AMS from 2016. So if I remember correctly, our under nines invented that song from 2016. And those same under nines won in the under 15 division this year. No, alhamdulillah. I want to talk to your captain, Rian. Uh, captain, just how proud of you or how proud are you to lead this team and of course eventually become the winners and be the captain to lift the trophy? Rian, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, just, just give us your feelings of how it was to be the captain of this team. How you felt to be the captain? I think the nerves are key. Uh, I think the nerves, okay, no. I think, you know what, as long as he's a top performer on the field, that's all that matters. But... Hartley Road next year, inshallah. Are you guys confident that you can retain the title? Yes. Inshallah, no problem. Now, Jazakallah so much for joining us. All the best in your preparations for next year. And of course, other tournaments that you guys will compete in. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you many more years of success, inshallah. How did you guys find the tournament overall, uh, Hartley? Sorry? How did you find the overall performance of the tournament? Alhamdulillah, the competition was uh, quite good for all the teams in under nine division. Each team we played, we played them on merit, and uh, we enjoyed ourselves. Alhamdulillah. 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 And one, before I let you guys go, uh, just maybe show the viewers your trophy. Ah, there we go. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. The champions of the under nine uh, division. Uh, again, Jazakla so much for making the time for us, Hartley Road. Okay, I think the captain had a bit of nerves, but I'm assuming that he was quite good on the field. Sure. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is, isn't it, Brother Bilal? Definitely. You know, just for them to have that enjoyment. You can just see that these kids Look at right that over fella. there. I mean, you don't see that so often. And 100%. I mean, this is pure joy that they have right there. And this is coming out of two and a half years of lockdown, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So can you imagine the excitement that we were feeling as the local organizing mm. committee when you're hosting these small kids? The bigger kids are in a different league because they play club football, yes. they have a different social life. These under nines mm. and under 11, 
you know, they would, they would mums and dads all the time. And to be exposed to something like this, especially on tour, you know, when you're going on tour, that feeling is special, mm. man. Mm. Really, it's special. You can't beat that. You'll, I'll, yeah. you'll never take this event away from not a single one of those boys. Grassroots, Brother Siddiq. That's important, isn't it? Because we mentioned earlier on Lucas Ratebe was there. I mean, we don't even know if there was a scout. They could put attention have been a scout right over there. That's important, isn't it? Because if you're building the foundations for the future of football in this country, it starts in tournaments like this. One point, I think under 9, 11, 13 is all about development. And I think what was great to see, as much as you've seen winners, you know, mm -hmm. celebrating, we've seen teams that probably didn't rank in terms of competitiveness, but photos being taken, equally having fun, and even coaches, what was admirable, you know, in closely contested mm -hmm. games, uh, substituting their key players just to give everyone an equal opportunity. Mm. And that's really admirable because it, it, the self-esteem and confidence it gives the boys, you know, it's, it's just a different level. So, and that's what development is about, you know, and that's what we need to promote. So winning's great. I mean, we want to create not a mediocre standard, mm. but at the same time, you want people, uh, youngsters to get exposure at that level. Now, Alhamdulillah, closing remarks, Pilar. 365 days away from the next tournament. What now? I know you said you just want to have a bit of time no, to relax. I, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that early next year. Yeah. Let's but this gives you confidence, it. doesn't this it? This gives me complete one. confidence mm. to, if appointed, mm. definitely to see if we can maybe do another one. But uh, we'll have to have a chat to my boys and see if they are up to it as well. Mm. You know, every year goes by, we get a year older, we mm. get a year tighter. Mm. So it becomes that that effect on us and then we'll see from there. But just quickly, I'd like to thank our headline sponsor, Standard Bank Sharia Banking. I'd like to thank uh, Lotto for all their input, mm. especially with all the kids uh, that they supplied um, uh, soccer kits to and you know all of those nice things. And all the ground sponsors, the representatives from AMS, Association of Muslim Schools, and last and but not least, our school, Apex, Auckland Park Academy of Excellence, for giving the LOC the opportunity to go out and host an event of this magnitude. You got to understand that the trust and the faith that Amir, our Amir Uncle Yunus Ganget has in us to pull off this kind of a tournament is, is something, you know, he also went in blind with because we're a very small school. Mm. We're not a major school with 1,500, 1,600 kids. We only have 450 kids. So, you know, it was a mammoth task yeah. and a mammoth undertaking for him as well to give us that opportunity to go out there once again and do what we do best. So, Jazakallah to everybody. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for giving us this opportunity again. No, Alhamdulillah. Closing remarks, uh, Brother Sidi. Yeah, I think uh, having such a successful tournament, regardless whether we host or don't host, you know, just continuous learning around us. There's lessons learned. And whoever hosts next year, we will make sure, you know, whatever improvement we can make towards the tournament and lift the profile of this event for EMS and for the communities and the camaraderie and really creating something special that's distinct in, 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 in our calendar year, uh, we will support. You know. Alhamdulillah. Brother Siddiq, Brother Bilal, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you healthy and grant you the ability, inshallah, next um, year to oversee um, another inshallah. successful tournament like this. After the break... We'll be having one of the schools where they are in studio. It's Roshni. So do stay tuned to Talking Point. Welcome back to Talking Point. Now we have another school. Of course, they won the under 11 category. That's Roshni Islamic School. I'm joined by the coach and the captain. Guys, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, so you, were you guys as loud as you were on the field? And were you as good as you were on the field? <laughs> okay, coach, I want to start off with you. Uh, how, how lovely was it to be back on the field after so many years and to coach these bunch of individuals here who really did so well in their age category? Assalamu alaikum. So, Alhamdulillah, you know, it's important in this sense here that we're back into normality. Mm. It was something that we all struggled with in the past. And to get our kids back into the system, it was a struggle in the start. Mm. But they all have been dying for it. Mm. So I'm originally not the coach for this specific team. I'm the coordinator at the school. Mm. 
But Alhamdulillah, we had a support of uh, the local coaches that helped us from the local club. So because of that, in uh, our youngsters' dedication and their hard work, we've got to where we are. Alhamdulillah. No, Alhamdulillah. Captain, how do you feel to coach, uh, captain this, these guys over here? And, you know, what, what makes you such a good captain? What, what do you see in yourself that you say, hey, you know what, I love being the captain of this team and I can help them to win this trophy? Um, I like to scream at them when they don't oh, know what to say. And do they listen to you? Sometimes. Okay, and if they don't listen to you, what do you do? I scream at him again. <laughs> okay. And I like to be captain because if we win, mm. then I can lift the trophy. Okay. But, but, but how happy were you to be back playing, playing football after all those years, COVID-19, you couldn't be with your friends, you couldn't be with your classmates. It makes you happy, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay. No, alhamdulillah. All right, guys, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to start with the man with the mic. Give me your name. And yes. just how happy were you to be part of this tournament and to win? Isa Barat, I was very happy because I scored many goals, like two goals. Mm, okay. And then who, who's the star player here? Mm, okay. okay, let's give the star player a chance to speak. Star player, your name. And how many goals did you score during yeah, the competition? Nana, I didn't score any goals. I only scored one penalty. Okay. And uh, in the final, I want to ask you guys, uh, how was it? How were your nerves? Were you guys excited? Were you guys tense? Uh, I was very excited making it to the finals with a very good team to see if we can win Apex for the second time in the finals. And you guys eventually did it. So Gee. you being champions must have made you guys happy. Gee. Uh, bring it to you, coordinator. Just how happy are you to coach these guys? Because they, they look so disciplined. I mean, obviously on the field, you know, you get heated sometimes, but... You can just see that they're a well-behaved group of boys who just want to win and enjoy themselves. Oh, definitely. That's the, you know, that's the important thing for us. That We've had a few uh, meetings with the parents, mm -hmm. our players, to uh, emphasize the akhlaq. Mm -hmm. Akhlaq is important on and off mm -hmm. the field. You know, so Islamically, we have to perform our salah. We have to make sure we dress appropriately. And uh, these youngsters never fail us. Mm -hmm. You know, we've uh, got a good support from our mothers. You have to watch the videos on the live mm, television. Mm, mm. You see all the support there. <laughs> I, and all I've the seen screening. it, yeah, yes, yes, So yes. our parents are there, mm. they're supporting, they're loud also. But that's what makes us proud players and mm. proud coaches because we've got everyone's back, mm. alhamdulillah. And these youngsters, they deserved it in a sense that, you know, they've worked hard for it and uh, they are really trying to make that. So I, I personally feel they kept up to that uh, where they were behaved they listened to the coach, they were disciplined. And you know, in all, like for the under nine team, they lost uh, in quarterfinals. They're so small, what do they understand? Mm -hmm. But they were crying by their mothers, and the <laughs> mothers were like, you know, uh, just read to the Salah. Yeah, exactly. So these youngsters don't know what is Qibla. They don't know where is Qibla or the direction. They got their dogs on. In the tent, they're sitting and they just stood up, Allahu Akbar, and started mm. performing salah. And I think the niyat is important. And that's it? the niyat. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, at that age, for them to understand, to turn to Allah, these youngsters, after playing the semifinals, the coach took them, let's go perform two rakat mm. salah. They read their thohar salah. Then they're waiting for the finals. After salah, they all, after winning, alhamdulillah, they perform two rakat shukar namaz. So that shows the importance of turning it and, uh, I know, speaking to Allah and asking Allah for everything. Mm. So that is important because they deserve it, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Captain, are you ready for next year? Can, can you guys retain your trophy? Can you keep your trophy? Inshallah, we will. Okay. All right, guys, any last words? Do you guys want to... The Roshni friends were crazy. Oh, okay, okay. They, they were, were loud. Oh, no, but, but as long as they gave you support. When no. we won the finals, they just jumped over the fence exactly. and they started running. So you felt like you were world, world champions. Yeah, like we... Yeah. Champions yeah. League. She like we won the World Cup. Oh no, Alhamdulillah. Now, Mahir, I've got a special message for you. Uh, this uh, it's a long message, but I'm gonna try and keep it as short as possible. Uh, this coming from your family. Uh, it says you made us proud, and you have played like a true legend. You are yet to become the next Cristiano Ronaldo. Is your favorite player? Messi. Oh, Messi. Your oh, okay. Well, they should have put Messi. Okay, let's just say the next Messi. We're so proud of you to keep and keep it all up. Your patience and perseverance during training 
really paid off in the end, and we love you. And this is coming from your grandparents, Salma and Nazir, Auntie Sumeya and Kayum, your cousins Romana, Liana, Ayana, Yumna, Lukman, <laughs> your siblings Lana, Kayla, and Fayaz, and your parents Nadia and Mohammed, and to the RIC coach and the team, well done, and to all the other teams. I had to slot this in because I think your family is really proud of you, and I think all of your families are really proud of the effort that you guys gave during the competition. Jazakla Roshni, all the best. And I wanted to Allah, keep you guys, most importantly, on the right path Amen. and keep you guys active in playing such a beautiful game that is football. Amen. Amen. Jazakallah so much for hosting us. I mean, to my, I mean, well, after the break, we're going to be having the Laneja Islamic School coming through to stay tuned. Welcome back to Talking Point. This is the final segment, and we have the under-17 winners here, Laneja Muslim School. Let me introduce my guest. I got the uh, coach. And the manager, Hanif Akuji, I've got brother Faisal, and I've got the winning captain, uh, Zayan. Let me start off with you first, Coach Jazakla, so much for joining us. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, how proud are you to see this team win and to do it in such a superb fashion? Wa alaikum salam. I think the school and the boys did us very proud. Uh, firstly, I think more, if you see these two tro trophies, uh, the under 17 and the under 15 runners up, are excellent pieces of uh, silverware. But more than that, I think we won the Akhlaq Prize. Mm. And I'm extremely proud of the boys, the way they carried themselves uh, in the tournament over the three days. Uh, uh, you know, we didn't have one incident of uh, misbehavior. They played their hearts out. They, they made their salah. They made friends. And, and they, they upheld the school's name very proudly. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Mm. Brother Faisal, and I mean, that Akhlaq Award, I mean, how, how mashallah, is it to be part of such a special group of boys that behaved so well during the tournament? Assalamu alaikum alhamdulillah. It's always an uh, achievement to win the Akhlaq Award at uh, M's National Tournament. Considering the atmosphere, the emotions that go through the entire tournament, uh, one needs to also keep their character intact. And Alhamdulillah, I can say that LMS has done that very proudly. And we are very proud of each and every player that has participated in this tournament. And shukr to Allah, we, were, we managed to pull this through, not just as Akhlaq winners. And my team, especially the under-17s, from the first whistle, I told them we are going to win this Akhlaq award. And Alhamdulillah, we've achieved that. And with all that being said, we also won the under-17 championship. And we just see some of the visuals there of, of course, uh, you know, uh, Laneja Muslim School. I have the captain here. So, Jan, uh, how do you feel to be a captain of such a special group of individuals? No, it's very exciting. It was very exciting also. Uh, it, was, it was happy. I was happy that they had faith in me, obviously. Uh, it, nominating me for captain but the uh, players themselves made my job very easy uh, very good players around me and those players will most of them will come back next year and hopefully take the trophy back home again inshallah uh coach and if yeah. how you know to, to keep them motivated it's been what two years now yeah. since of course we've been in a lockdown you know three years since the last tournament how did you keep them motivated to say guys we're back again the tournament is here, uh, let's give it our best. You know, I think at every school, and specifically at Indonesia Muslim School, the kids kept on coming to me over the past two years. Coach, when is Ems? Coach, when is Ems? I think the eagerness and the, the, the enthusiasm about Ems, uh, you know, it didn't die down. Uh, every every uh, player at LMS wanted to take part in, at Ems. So, uh, you know, we had tournaments, we had internal tournaments and so on. And we said, boys, when the time comes, we're going to, we're going to take part in AMS. I have, got, I have no information as yet, but please, let, just bear with me. As soon as the pandemic is over, as soon as COVID is over, we'll, we will, I'm sure there will be an AMS. And, you know, they took my word for that and eventually it did come. So they were very, very happy. 
We had lots of kids trying out in a, in a, for, for, the, for the teams, and uh, they really did well. And at the end, we, we, we tried to choose our, our, best to, our best 10 players for each division. Coach, uh, Coach Fraser, same question for you. I mean, motivation. Because, you know, youngsters will just, they lose that motivation. They lose that interest. They'll be like, nah, I don't, I don't want to play because, you know, COVID has made me a little bit lazy. But motivation is important, isn't it, to make sure that they can still be on the field giving their best? A hundred percent. With regards to the players that I've been coaching, we've been coaching them for the past month before EMS. Alhamdulillah, we managed to get them to a standard of, of training where we had to motivate them to train. We were training twice a week, which was quite good for us, uh, given the short space of time. And we also made it fun. I myself, as much as I'm a disciplinarian, I've made it quite fun for them, enjoyable. Uh, the good thing is they were very disciplined in terms of listening. Uh, I focused, I made them focus in terms of we wanted to come here and win as well. Apart from the Akhlaq Award, we wanted to play football. And Shukar, we played the best football. If I can see from the under-17 division, the LMS under-17 team uh, dominated in terms of playing football. They played absolutely beautiful football. So Shukar, I'm happy for them. And some of them, it's their last year. And I can only be pleased with these boys, the way they played out there. No, alhamdulillah. Captain, uh, the coach mentioned about being disciplined. But just your, your take on the tournament, you know, what made it so special? What is your favorite memory of this tournament? Besides lifting, of course, the trophy, which memory stood out for you? So, obviously, there was one game in the uh, group stages. I was against the Zadva. Mm. Uh, countdown last 10 seconds. And Isa Ismail, our striker, he touched it in, in a back post mm. to draw us the game. So I think that was one of my favorite memories of this tournament. And one I won't forget. Okay. And of course, what got yourselves a point, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> one point. Okay. But, but, it, but it made such a huge difference. Very huge difference. Biggest teams yeah. of the tournament. May I ask each of you one final question? Uh, start with you, Coach Anif. Next year, of course, inshallah, I mean, we say, let me write this pandemic. So for now, it's over. Mm. Uh, preparing for next year, you know, obviously, there may be even new players coming. How do, you, how do you now get them prepared for next year? to keep them motivated and to, you know, to uphold, you know, the, the name of Lineja Muslim School? You know, EMS has always been in the forefront of all the kids, mm. you know. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, we'll have to dangle the carrot for, to tell them, you know what, I'm sure we're going to go to the coast next year. We might go to Durban, we might go to Cape Town. So I think... Just the mere fact that we might, we may leave Johannesburg, that alone will be motivating, the motivating factor for them to try out their best and, and, and being in the AMS team. No, inshallah. Mm -hmm. uh, final words from you, uh, Coach Faisal? Uh, I just want to say with my under-17 team, it was a real achievement. Uh, they were undefeated. I think this is the first time in the AMS tournament where a team went undefeated. I just want to thank my team the LMS board, the principal, the headmaster, Uncle Anif, my colleagues, all my many, the coaches, the teachers that assisted us. And above all, I'd like to thank all the players that came through for us in this tournament and especially the parents, our supporters. It was just electrifying and we really enjoyed ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we are we're truly the champions and we're looking forward to next year to come in to win this title again. And, uh you said you're a Liverpool fan of air. Is uh, Coach Faisal like Jurgen Klopp? A bit better. Oh, but yeah, better. Oh, okay. Better. So Coach Faisal can uh, must coach Liverpool now if Jurgen Klopp doesn't take it to the top four. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Oh well, there we go. Okay, if Liverpool owners, uh, if you do get a chance to watch us, uh, well, there's the next. Uh, there's the successor to Jurgen Klopp. Just your final words, as a young. Uh, are you looking forward? Of course, you're going to be a year older next year. What are your plans for the future? Do you, do you see yourself taking the game professionally? What do you want to do with yourself, knowing that from a grassroots perspective, this is a stepping stone for you? Yeah, no, I always, I love football, grew mm. up with football. Uh, but uh, I don't think I'll be making it professional. Mm. It's always a dream, but I don't think so. 
hopefully just focus on my studies around. Inshallah, inshallah. No, that's the most support the LMS going forward in years. I mean, to my, I mean, I mean it's a, that's a lovely attitude right over there, giving back to the school that obviously, you know, you were able to go ahead and have your education from there. Uh, brothers, we say Jazakla to you for making the time for us. All the best. Mubarak, congratulations on the trophy that you won, of course. And Allah wa to Allah, you know, grant you good health and Amen. the ability Amen. to see Amen. many Amen. more of these tournaments, yeah. inshallah. Sure. Um, you know, that's a uh, Lanesia Muslim school, of course, coming through here and, of course, displaying their trophy, but just most importantly, giving us an idea of how they enjoyed uh, the tournament and, of course, ended up becoming the winners of the under-17 division. Well, that's all we have for you here on Talking Point. Uh, we say Jazakallah to you for joining us from myself, Faraz Patel, and the rest of the team here at Hilal TV. We say Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.